Well, hello there and welcome to the final episode of Painting Gobsprack. I am going to attempt today to paint everything that's left over and also create the base for him. So I am hitting up the little goblin sitting on the back of the saddle with a little bit of tanned flesh. In with her half and half tanned flesh and necrotic flesh. Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going Smattering of some green shade. Sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient. So I got a little overexcited and forgot to show what colours I was using to do all the detailing on the back for the pots and pans and the uh, apothecary stuff. But it was like a mix of reds, blues, greens, uh, greys, browns, pretty much anything I could think of to whack on to make it colourful. Okay, that's done, so on to the rider now. Time to paint this little dude now, and I am going a little bit different because my green skin army isn't actually going to be a green skin army, it's going to be more of a purple army. In with some warlock purple. So for the skin I am mostly going to be dry brushing so uh, I am wiping this off quite extensively on a bit of tissue. Doing a one-to-one -one mix of necrotic flesh and warlock purple. This is to bring out a little bit more of a highlight. Final little highlight of necrotic flesh going on now. In with some necromancer cloak now. Gonna step it up a bit with some ash grey once I can find it. There it is. Okay, so it's so ash grey. little one-to-one -one of ash grey and matte white and this should be the final highlight that I'm doing on the cloak. Okay, everything else should be painted in oak brown. A liberal smattering of leather brown. Little leather brown and skeleton bone mix. Little highlight of skeleton bone going in. Paint 
painting up the metallic bits with a little bit of weapon bronze. Finally, a little bit of null and oil. Okay, that's the majority of the paintwork done and I am absolutely loving how it's turning out. I absolutely loved painting this and this is the base here. It is absolutely gorgeous. First time using the Valio thick mud paint as well, which I absolutely love the effect that it's added. And I highly recommend that if any of you want to paint this, please go ahead and let me know as well on my Twitter because I would love to see some photos of you doing it. Thank you very much for watching this series. Uh, it should be another series coming up very shortly where I paint up some Trogoff and hopefully they are going to come out fantastic. Anyway, if you are new to my channel and have enjoyed what you've seen, please, please, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. It helps me out immensely. For the rest of you, thank you for all of your support. You are absolutely fantastic. And I hope to see you all here soon. Anyway, I will be signing off now. Love you. Bye.